Flave City family, what is up? It is Bobby on the north side of Chicago about to walk into my favorite Aldi here in Chicago because it's so bright and clean and new. And I'm gonna do a video about what's on sale now at Aldi, specifically the Aldi finds because I love scoping what's on sale, what's a good deal, what's healthy and you can save money on. And the Aldi deals for this week, I don't know if you've seen them, they're fantastic. I literally like almost bugged out at them. So I figured I'd get here on a Wednesday morning. It's as soon as they open and scope out the scene. See the ingredients, see if they're good, bad, and why, and see exactly how good of a deal it is. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please let me know. I'm all about saving money and buying healthy stuff, so leave a comment down below. We can do one of these maybe every week whenever there's a new Aldi find. Uh, before I get in there, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share. All those things are great. There's also a bell icon below the video. Enable uh, channel notifications. And we also have channel memberships live on the channel now for as little as $5 a month. You could join the Flav City family, get access to custom emojis and badges and all that fun stuff. Okay, let's go mask up. Let's go find some Aldi finds and do our thing. This is very exciting. I'm gonna grab it and then come over here. Rack of lamb for $9.99 a pound. Why is this so darn exciting? Because 40% of Americans have never tried lamb, which is a travesty because this is fantastic lamb from Australia. If you're looking for an entry into lamb, rack of lamb is the way to go because it doesn't have too gamey of a flavor. But this is fantastic because if it's from Australia, it doesn't say on the packaging anywhere that it's grass-fed, but I can almost guarantee you it's 100% grass-fed because I went to Australia last year with the Meat and Livestock Association. There's so many rolling grassy hills there. They don't even use grain. And the advantage of getting this in the US, see the way it's packed? It's actually wet age. They pack it like this, they ship it overseas here. And while it's shipping, it wet ages in the cryovac, meaning the uh, juices actually break down some of the enzymes and protein and make it more um, juicy and tender. This is fantastic. It's actually cheaper, this price, than uh, Costco, where I normally get it. I would buy this, cut it into individual racks, and cook it in a hot cast iron pan. But my friends, for my 40% of my friends who have never tried rack of lamb or lamb in general, scoot on over to uh, Aldi for $9.99 a pound. This is the real deal. It's a great source of iron, protein, and minerals. Here's the chips I was looking for. They're pumpkin seed tortilla chips. They're organic, non-GMO, and they're rock bottom prices of $1.99. I got excited when I saw this because pumpkin seeds are actually loaded with zinc, which is really good for your immune system in cold and flu season. But let's see the ingredients here. So organic, non-GMO corn flour. That's the kind of corn you want to eat if you're going to eat corn. Ah, it's made with not the best oils. Organic vegetable oil, that's sunflower or safflower. It might be expeller pressed because sometimes I email Aldi and they tell me, hey, it is expeller pressed when it's organic, but they need to put it on there so I can really believe it. So the oil is not great. But what's interesting is you keep looking afterwards. Pumpkin seeds are really good for you. I've never seen the sweetener. Whoa, look at this. Organic succanat with honey. Succanat is raw cane sugar juice, completely unprocessed. Actually very, very good and not too bad for you in small quantities. Two grams of added sugar per uh, uh, serving, not too bad, and a little bit of cinnamon. So listen, this isn't the cleanest chip around, but for a little sweet treat that has a uh, pumpkin fall theme, not terrible, and that price is amazing. If they used an avocado oil or a coconut oil, it'd be much better, but it is very, very interesting, but I'm not gonna take that one home. I'm crushed right now. The product I was looking forward to reviewing the most is not here. There's these hippie brand cauliflower crisps on the website with next level ingredients and they don't have it here. But I'm gonna go ask the manager to search his computer if another Aldi has it within a 15, 20 minute drive. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna do it for you guys because I've never seen cauliflower crisp this clean. Let's just hope they're actually in stock somewhere in Chicagoland and by you because they're next level Bobby approved crisps. I just wanna wait a few days. Okay. okay. It's so not gonna sell out right away. Yeah, right yeah, now, sure. You know? Okay. But no, the other ones around here won't have it then. No, because we'd all get it from the same distributor. Gotcha. Okay. Bad news, I just asked the manager. He said they haven't arrived yet. They might be held up at customs, but they should be here in a few days and they're gonna stay as long as they, it takes to sell out. Get them. Look at these ingredients. I looked it up online. It's uh, cauliflower with brown rice flour, which is a complex carbohydrate, 
coconut milk powder is kind of like the binder and no nasty oils, no uh, yeast extract, no natural flavors. It's unbelievable. I haven't seen any other cauliflower crisp on the market with clean ingredients like this. So as soon as this comes in stock, run. Don't walk over to Aldi, grab it because it's one of the cleaner snacks around. And I'm probably gonna come back in a couple days and grab it and do a taste test on Flav City Instagram story. So follow me over there uh, and we'll check it out together. Unfortunately, the Aldi fine section over there is a high visibility area and the security guard is looking right there. So I just grabbed a few items and brought them over here. This was on the Aldi fines for this week. Pumpkin chipotle pasta sauce. I love anything pumpkin themed for this time of year, but we have to look at the ingredients. Uh, so first ingredient is pumpkin puree. No sugar in that, which is nice. Uh, tomato puree. I generally like whole stewed tomatoes instead of puree, but all the ones here at the Aldi have puree up. Oh, Organic cane sugar, how much? Uh, three grams of added sugar per half cup. That's just under a teaspoon of uh, sugar. So I can't get on board with that. And the rest of the ingredients are actually pretty clean. So I'd say no to that. Hold on, I got a little Waldo situation here. TV timeout. You know it. I don't want to miss anything. Okay, coast is clear. Uh, you're much better off going with this marinara sauce. We've talked about it previously. This is organic marinara sauce with clean ingredients. They're actually not using any oil in here at all. No added sugar, but you're always going to see tomato puree and cheaper marinara sauces. And this is one of the cheapest I've seen. That's organic too. It's still a good deal, but on um, premium tomato sauces like uh, Rayo's, my favorite, uh, Lucchini will have whole peel tomatoes. Those are much better in terms of quality. When you have tomato puree, it's going to be inferior tomatoes. That being said, this is the best one here at Aldi. Ingredients are great and that price is great. So we have to skip, unfortunately, the Halloween themed one here. Uh, check out these names of coffees, Raven's Roast and Sleepy Hollow Blend. I wouldn't get the blend, but I would scoop this because they have an amazing assortment of single origin coffees here at, uh, at Aldi. Actually, if you go to the coffee end cap, they have a bunch of uh, single origins. Why is that important? When we're done here, watch my coffee review. You really want to get single origin coffee so you know exactly where your coffee comes from, the exact location, Ethiopia. Because when you get stuff like this, that's a blend. It's usually a blend of mystery coffee beans from around the world, and they're usually inferior. The superior beans are always the um, single origin. And the thing about this is that it is ground. I can feel it's pre-ground and you're gonna have seven to 10 days of peak freshness as soon as you open that seal. So try to drink this in seven to 10 days. It's still good afterwards, but the flavor notes of the coffee beans go downhill, which is why I never tell people to buy a huge bag of uh, pre-ground beans because 10 days is peak freshness. And for Raven's Roast, quote the Raven, never more. Well, yes, definitely do it this time because it's fantastic. Then I saw kale chips here, but they're anything but kale chips. So number one, it's kale but it's not organic and kale's on the dirty dozen, followed by starchy potato flour, starchy potato starch, and non-expeller pressed, non-organic sunflower safflower flour oil, which is highly processed and inflammatory, and cane sugar with just a touch, but this is deceiving. You think it's kale chips good for you? It's kale disguised, actually, in uh, the place of starchy potato chips. I would skip this one for sure. I'm gonna grab something from the Aldi fine section here and bring it over to a safe area because Waldo's just crashed some red wine bottles there and it's gonna be a lot of employees there. But this was on sale. It's the Vital Life Kombucha Pumpkin Chai. Now, Aldi does do their own version of kombucha, but I tend to find it has higher sugar than the other ones on the market and I'll show you what that means in a minute. But I do love the idea that this is pumpkin themed. The problem is, how are they getting the pumpkin actually in there? It's with organic pumpkin natural flavors, natural chai flavor, and they're actually using real organic uh, vanilla extract, but uh, there's cane sugar in here. There's a total of 17 grams of added sugar in the whole bottle. That's a little much. You always need a little bit of sugar in kombucha because you have to get the fermentation started. And there actually is a bunch of gut-friendly probiotics in there. Um, the thing is, it's a little high in sugar. Where if you pick up something like this, which they have at, uh, Aldi 2, it's GTs, you'll see, let's see, this has one bottle, has 16 grams of sugar, which is actually pretty similar to this, but there's no natural flavors, and they actually are using a really clean organic black tea in here. I do find that Health Aid, which they normally have here at uh, Aldi, is out. That has less sugar. It has about 12 grams per bottle, 
we're trying to mitigate the amount of sugar. Uh, you need a little bit for kombucha, but you don't need 16 or 17. So as much as I'd like to say, pumpkin chai uh, kombucha would be good. I just can't quite do it, even though it's so pumpkin and so darn good looking. They had some cookware on Aldi finds this week. And you know what? Normally I wouldn't buy that much cookware here because it's pretty cheap or flimsy, but there's a couple items I would get. First up is a sieve set. This is a three piece strainer set. And I swear by these because they're nesting. And I use these all the time for pastas, for sauces, for tea with the small one. This is great. You're gonna use it a lot. And for $6, I would definitely get that. Um, this is interesting too. Look at this. This is a three piece glass baking set. This is really cool. And guess where it's made? I thought for sure China made in the USA. Glass is really nice because you're not going to get any of the uh, possible contaminants from like a non-stick covered uh, baking dish. And this is what, $13 for three piece glass? Might be nice to have that for the holidays coming up. And speaking of non-stick, although I do use these baking and cooling racks a lot, and a three piece one or a three, uh, three for $7 is a great deal. It's covered in non-stick material. And this is Teflon non-stick. I have videos about this. I don't recommend this because the Teflon or the active ingredient in there, the PTFE is not safe, especially when it gets scratched. So stay away from that. Um, and I don't use silicone bakeware very often, but it can come in handy. This is a silicone loaf pan that's good for baking or meatloaf. And it's only $5. This could be really interesting for uh, sweet and savory. It's maybe nice to have one of these on hand uh, if you want to uh, bake some uh, muffins or I make uh, my version of Starbucks egg bites and you can put them in here and they pop out really easily. So it's actually more things than I expected uh, that I liked in the uh, cookware here for Aldi Fine. So scoop a couple for sure. All right, that's it for the Aldi Fines. All in all, pretty darn good, but my heart, my heart is devastated at those uh, cauliflower crisps that are not in stock. That was probably what I was looking forward to the most. So when you see them at your Aldi, grab them, email me, DM me, let, no, let me know how you like it, because I'm gonna be back here in a few days looking for them. Uh, so if you wanna see more what's on sale now themed videos and more Aldi fine videos because they're here today and gone tomorrow, just like the sign says, leave a comment down below. I love making these videos just for you. Uh, like, subscribe, share. That's the only way this channel keeps growing. Uh, spread the love about Flav City to your friends and family and loved ones. But I got two more videos going below me right now for Art, for Desi, for Rose. We leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later, guys.